I do indeed have a reptile. Is it still there? Yes, it is still there. It is. There it is. There we go. A lizard, which was not what I was expecting. A girdle lizard, by the way, which is a fantastic and exciting find, and it's not the one I was not what I was looking for in the slightest. And there we go. He's completely frozen. He or she is completely frozen. Hoping that if it doesn't move, we won't have spotted it. Doesn't realise, of course, what sharp eyes Jandre has. way its throat's bobbing as it breathes. Now, the reason that I'm disappointed to find this girdle lizard, and, I mean, I don't think I should ever have been disappointed to find such an interesting reptile, is because I'm at the Philemon's Cutline Hyena Den, and something's been niggling in the back of my mind all morning. It's the fact that as I was on my way towards Gwen's new den, I saw hyena tracks absolutely everywhere along this road. And so I decided for the last few minutes of the sunset safari, I'd come back, sunset, sunrise, sunrise safari, I'd come here and I'd check out and see whether there's any sign of activity. And there is lots. There's hyena tracks, there's small hyena tracks, there's hyena tracks all over the show, but nothing leading up to the den site itself. And I doubt, I could be wrong, but I seriously doubt that a good liver, liver? What is wrong with me? Girdle liver? That sounds horrifying. It sounds like something they'd feed you up somewhere in... I'm not going to say it. It might be offended someone. Um, so, no, not a girdle liver. I doubt a girdle lizard would be sharing a hyena den space with hyenas, especially with cubs. I somehow think that it would have a slightly stronger survival instinct than that. Uh, I can promise you that I'm going to be putting in some serious work over the next two days to try and figure out what's happening. My suspicion is that the rest of the hyena clan have come back, and I suspect that they're somewhere here, but they're just not using this particular den. And I don't blame them, because, of course, while they were away, the entire shape changed. The neighborhood went to the lizards rather than to the dogs. The neighborhood went to the lizards. The elephants pushed over their big shade tree that they had, I suspect they're in the old, old den that's just to the south of me. That's where I'm going to be looking. But, Alexandria, yes, I do, I do believe that Gwen will be there this afternoon. Probably not early, and admittedly I left, this, I left checking this den too late. Best time for hyena dens is early in the morning, first thing in the morning and then late in the evening. And that's when the cubs really start to get active, the adults return to feed them. So I do think that Gwen will be back there. Those cubs of hers are at the stage where they are being weaned, or I would have expected them to start being weaned. So I'm not quite sure exactly what will what the dynamic will be. I think we've got to go and investigate. And just as soon as they see that she's calm, they will be perfectly calm with us. So I can't quite decide what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to go to Gwen this afternoon and then come back here, here first thing this, tomorrow morning on the sunrise safari. You can see the resident... The re residual, res I've obviously been talking for too long. You can see residual bones over here that are the scattered remnants of the old hyena dens. And James, Richard, you say you don't think we've seen a girdled lizard. I think we have. Yeah, I think Brent, I think Brent saw one. I think James might have seen one. Brent definitely did, I know, because he was super excited about the girdle lizard. Sorry, James, and here I have been nattering on about hyenas because I'm s not as excited by <laughs> the lizard because I'm disappointed to see it, which isn't very fair at all. All right, on that note, it is the end 